Hello Leos, it is AD with Cast Hair and I'm going to be doing your end of February 2019 reading guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy to see you. Um, check out that description box. I am doing a love special until the end of this month so be sure to check that out and um, hmm, like, share, and subscribe. Hacha. <laughs> Alright Leo, without any further ado, let's get into your reading. Alright Leos, what's going on? stiff. Little stiff, Leo's. Little stiff. All right. All right, Leo. So we do have, yeah. So there's, I'm just going to say stiff because the cards got so stiff on me. And then, you know, the Nine of Wands popped out and the Knight of Cups popped out. So I'm at Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiety perhaps going on about an emotional message, connection, um, a love offer that's coming in, an apology. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding something that regards feelings, all right, and possibly communicating that with another individual with the Knight energy here. So let's see if this pops up in the reading. But the Nine of Swords is never a fun card to see, all right? That means sleepless nights. Um, perhaps a relationship could be going south or something and you're just worried about you know communicating that yeah left out in the cold Leo with this five of pentacles you could be going through a separation of some sort and it's bringing a lot of anxiety um, because you feel something for this situation be it a job or another person all right all right it looks like it could easily be another person with this two of cups here so with all that being said, I think that this is an ending possibly to a relationship, but the Two of Cups to me demonstrates that a new relationship could be coming in as soon as you let this one go, Leo. <laughs> And I just saw the devil there. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So there's a new beginning, even though you're feeling pretty isolated right now. Two. All right. You've had the most flyers, Leo. I was on a roll, no no flyers, but it seems like you guys are going through quite a bit, all right? So we have the Ten of Pentacles as the underlying energy, all right? Followed by the hair font. Ooh, followed by the Four of Wands, okay? So this to me is marriage, commitment, long-term, um, getting get into the business, doing the dirty, but like in a legal way. Um, <laughs> but some of you guys could really be celebrating a marriage of some sort. Perhaps you were proposed to and this isn't the person that you think you want to be with. I'm not sure um, with that anxiety card coming out. So I'm hoping that we'll get some clarity on this. But this seems like a pretty positive underlying energy surrounding some sort of long-term commitment. It could be a long-term long co contract where you received a promotion where you're higher up um, with the hair font being here. But something that's built on some sort of stability could be connecting with an earth sign Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um but I do sense some stability in some way so let's see what's going on so we have judgment ooh popping up as the heart of the reading followed by the eight of want the eight of swords all right so some anxieties the queen of cups all right as a present moment, the Ten of Swords as the most likely outcome. And then we have the Three of Wands. So you're waiting for something to happen with this Three of Wands here, this growth expansion, what direction to take. The, although that this is very positive, the underlying energy with this commitment, love, stability, right now you're at that final, that final judgment call, quite literally. All right, this is that final step before you get to that world card. This is the resurrection of old demons, of old beasts that, you know, either are coming with you to the promised land or they're staying here, you know, in the apocalypse apocalypse is really what this card symbolizes <laughs> heart the herald angels sing all right and which side are you on or what decision are you making to ascend or to kind of like descend to like this madness but it seems to be bringing you a lot of anxiety all right with this eight of swords here you don't want to move but you put yourself in kind of this fragile situation where you don't you're blinding yourself to the reality because you don't want to deal with it possibly because you're insecure you don't think that you're good enough you don't think that it'll work out in your favor but with whatever the situation is that's re resurrecting itself this is your chance to put it to an end you don't have to carry this cloud over you anymore especially if it has to do with some sort of emotional um center it could be connecting with your mom some sort of trauma from your mother uh for some of you guys with this queen of cups but brothers could be connecting with the pisces cancer scorpio just somebody who's very emotional and intuitive could be somebody emotionally manipulative 
manipulative um, also, but there's putting, there's a need to put a rest to it and move on. All right. Turn your back to it with this three of wands and look for something else. Okay. So something is re resurrecting itself. And it seems like once you make this final judgment call, you'll be able to start building your foundation on something a lot more stable. Um, but I do sense a anxiety Leo, um, of not knowing which direction to take and not knowing exactly what to do but let's see what this final judgment call is about let me clarify real quick for you guys all right Ooh. Ooh. third party situation leo um we have the seven of swords fly out followed by the three of swords so it could be a third party situation or just ending something who is manipulative secretive who kept things from you um, this person is resurrecting, but this person to me is bad juju. I don't know why the stability is under them. Um, this person brings a lot of um, anxiety, but I feel like you have to let this person go, turn your back on this situation in order to reach this next phase. Obviously, always follow your own, your own intuition, um, Leos, If you, but something resurrecting itself that has presented a lot of anxieties in the past, and it involved somebody who was kind of sneaky deaky and brought some heartache of some sort if it wasn't in a third party situation specifically it was lies and secretive and deception of some sort all right so that's what i got for you there so let's look into your oracle deck the leos um let me know if that resonated with you in the comment section below of course let's see what's going on for leos let's see what's going on for leos in three and two and one all right leo so we have a time to give rather than take all right so that could easily have to play into that judgment card too all right as far as what's resurrecting itself this is time for you to flip roles um and put the shoe on the other foot <laughs> i was like am i saying this correctly <laughs> oh ooh, shoot and then the answers you need are coming Okay, and especially with that judgment card, there's an ending that's that's going to be put into place, and it's going to just put you on this path of growth and expansion. You'll be able to look and see what you want to do elsewhere. You won't be tied to whatever you feel like you are held down and strapped down to. I mean, particularly if it's somebody who's caused you some sort of deceit in the past. All right, and then we have believe in the impossible. So miracles do happen, Leos, and it seems like a miracle is going to be happen for you as far as clearing up the situation and you're really lucky because it's not even going to be like a super crazy tower moment where everything just erupts into this volcano of shit right nobody wants that so it seems like um this is just gonna whatever's done in the dark is going to be coming to light and it's going to kind of help you move out of this phase and start being able to focus on other things other than like your anxieties and how empty or lied to you feel or whatever resonates with you but that's what i got for you leos don't forget to check out that description box for that um personal reading and special information and without anything else that's all i have to say to you guys <laughs> peace until next time